a deadline to meet. It's a new directed energy weapon. The red eye transfers energy to a target, delivering the desired effect. I know what it is. Work faster. Jax, I've located the Black Dragon's warehouse at 20th and Wash. Preparing a shipment of robotic weapons to be shipped out tomorrow under a code name Cyber Initiative. I think this is what we've been looking for. Confirm intel and retransmit as soon as I can. One more thing, Jax. Kano's here. One more thing, Jax. Kano's here. This Kano Lieutenant Blade is referring to as a ghost, and rumored to be the leader of the Black Dragon Crime Cartel. But in fact, no one's been able to verify his location because anyone that's have come close to him is dead. This shipment contains stolen materials from the DOD's highly sensitive robotic defense program. They want it back. Which means we don't have a lot of time. Prepare your teams to move out. Once we have confirmation from Sonya, this transmission came in less than an hour ago. We need to move. I know you and Sonya are tight, but this is protocol. When we don't have conclusive intel, that's when people die. So we just leave Sonya in there? No backup? She shouldn't even be there. We both know this isn't about the Black Dragon Jax. Which is exactly why we need to move now. She's not gonna wait for us. Don't put me in this position. You know what? Fuck protocol. I'll go myself. Briggs? Fuck it. Let's move out. So excited to see me, you're quivering. Ah. Ah, ah. I love getting you all right. <laughs> hey! Do not pester me or I will cut your heart out like I did to that bitch of a partner of yours. Good. Guess you're one of them smart blondes. I'll find you. Oh, I plan on it. Thanks to you. You see, that video that you tried to send got intercepted. It didn't go through until I retransmitted it about an hour ago. <gasps> Two days after the shipment was delivered to my client. So all Jax and Stryker are gonna find is you dead. The robotics gone and my men waiting. They're here. Right on time. I'm gonna miss you, baby.
kill them all. Sonia, you got this? I got it, go! All right, cover me! Kano!
I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, Detective Briggs. I'm gonna enjoy this as much as I enjoyed torturing your sweet Sonya. Hey, Sonia. Jackson. Stryker. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Where am I? In the ICU. You've been out nearly a week. I was pretty worried about you. Did we get Kano? We got to him before we could. It was a trap. I know. Take it easy. You need to rest. Listen, the important thing is we got you out alive. And Jackson. He's alive. But he's in pretty bad shape. What happened? When the grenade went off, he covered you as best as he could. He saved your life. He took some pretty bad damage to his back, but it's... it's his arms they're most concerned about. Can I see him? Not right now. They just transferred him to a medical facility at the DOD. Hey, Sonia. Try not to worry so much. They have a plan. Teen heartthrob, martial arts master, paragon of masculinity. These are just a few titles bestowed upon what used to be known as the most promising action hero of the next generation. A man known around the world as Johnny Cage. But before becoming a worldwide sensation, John Carlton was just a small boy with big dreams. Everyone loved John. They gravitated towards him. We used to, uh, we used to go to martial arts tournaments together. Guy would win like every category. He was a total rock star. 
growing up, I was I was shy, I was weak. I actually got my ass kicked a lot, but martial arts changed all that. And I was reborn, and that gave the world Johnny Cage. In the next hour of Faded Star, we'll explore the rise and fall of Johnny Cage. From his worldwide fame, to his many arrests. His ego just took over. He started picking fights with random people in clubs and I couldn't protect him anymore. Nobody could. And a string of failed attempts to transition from the small screen to the big screen left the troubled actor frustrated. The fans just couldn't adjust to the fact that Johnny was getting older. To them, he would always be that ass-kicking teen heartthrob from Power Rangers. This is the story of a faded star. This is the story of Johnny Cage. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Me can love you long time, but can you can't be the one? But baby, if you like it, lick it, lick it, suck it, suck it. You can ride me like a huffin', and right after you got me, you can step by step, like your name was gonna be the head. It's a lie, because I'm a spy, but they ain't as fly as me. Piracy, burning more than just DVDs. I'm not loving it. <laughs> Me neither. Sorry, Johnny. W what are you guys talking about? This is exactly what you asked for. Well, to be frank, I was bored off my ass 10 seconds into the thing. I was literally getting more and more pissed the longer it went on. Look, the reality is, is, is just not something we're looking for. It skews too old for our demographic. Yeah, and honestly, we're not gonna win any fucking Emmys with this kind of stuff. We're trying to get out of the reality business. Yeah, not to mention the fact that martial arts is just not hot right now, you know, and you'll be competing against a uh, lawman and Dog the Bounty Hunter. Have you guys seen those shows? Nothing happens. In my show, I'm actually gonna be fighting. Well, that's also a problem. The actual fighting you're doing in this is pretty weak and quite obviously staged. Yeah, that's a big hurdle. Audiences already think all the fighting you do in your movies is fake. Well, no shit, the fighting's fake. It's a fucking movie. Oh, I don't know what to say. Look, we're gonna have to cut this short. We gotta get on set. Yeah. Nice to see you, Johnny. Well, I'll be right there. Thanks. Johnny, I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? I don't think TV is the right move for you right now. Well, what is the right move for me right now, Lance? I haven't worked since Power Rangers went off the air. Look, I need something big, Lance. I know that this show can be a hit. All right, well, look. We'll bring it up at the next development meeting, see what everybody says. All right? Maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can put it on one of our cable slates. That's all I'm asking for. All right. Regardless, you got to reshoot this, OK? really make it sing. Like, add some stakes, man. Pirated DVDs? We're not fucking Hallmark. Hey, it's no problem. I'll get you what you want. All right. The following program features real violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Shit. Pussy, I think that you should do shit. 
Chris Brown to you checking up the deuces. They probably should have never let loose this beat maker saying how we gon' produce this. My words paint pictures, I'm sick with the literature. Every single label's trying to get a nigga signature. Fuck that, I did it by myself, I'm independent, ho. Heavy concepts, breathtaker, if you didn't know. Oh, trying to shine, I don't wanna wait a minute more. I'm all about the dollars, what the fuck you think I'm in it for? <laughs> Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Seen enough, John. <laughs> but there's a whole nother action sequence. I don't, I'm not gonna drag this out any longer. I, I should have just told you on the phone. I talked to everyone on network and they all feel pretty much the same. This project is simply never gonna work for us, John. Do you know how much work it took to put this presentation together? <laughs> I, sp I spent 50 fucking grand. Oh, and you won't even do me the courtesy to watch the whole... F John, John, you're not listening to me. We're not renewing your development deal. You're dropping me. After all the fucking money I made you. Now look, it was a tough decision, all right? But this is a business. We can't sell anything with you attached. Audiences want to see more than what you do. Action star is dead, John. They're asking for you on set. Come on, John, I'll walk out. Fuck you. Take care, John. Bye, John. You know we love you. So we come up with something to put you in the spotlight, where you belong. This one's right up your alley, Erica. OK, let's hear it. All right, so we're looking at next year's slate. We're racking our brains to find something to compete with Lana, mm -hmm. you know? So we thought, why don't we do like a sexy version of Dog the Bounty Hunter? Something with a strong female lead. You don't see that out there. Yeah, not since Buffy. Right, so we thought, let's do a half hour action reality thing where you find people at the wrong place at the wrong time and you, you come in whoa, and you save the day like a superhero yeah, everybody loves superheroes yeah, yeah yeah we shoot it real gritty you know kind of slice of life reality style we're thinking about calling it you got saved hmm? okay guys this is uh great right it's it's great okay <laughs> I'm in. Fantastic! <laughs> you know, we couldn't think of anyone better. It's gonna be a nice bit of business for all of us. Hey, hold, hold up, Johnny. What the hell's going on? This picture fucking shows what's going on. Security! No, get over here. Security! <laughs> Does that look fucking fake to you? <laughs> sure know how to pitch a show. You're a real piece of shit, you know that, Johnny? I'm gonna make sure you do the work again, you motherfucker! What the fuck is this? Johnny Cage. Who are you? I've come here to make you an offer. How did you just do that? What if I could offer you, Mr. Cage, a way out of everything?
A long, long time ago, the realm known as Adenia was at peace. For years, Edenians enjoyed life without conflict, but Edenia's best warriors lost 10 consecutive mortal combat tournaments, granting Outworld permission to invade their lands. <laughs> and Adenia was destroyed. The innocent were brutally slaughtered by the Tarkatan warriors of Outworld, led by their merciless general, Baraka. Once resistance was extinguished, the Outworld Emperor, Shah Khan, sought to eliminate Adenia's leader, King Jared. How much time? They approach quickly, King Jared. We must move. I cannot leave my wife and child. They will be protected. Please. Your Highness. The king's castle was attacked, and the Adenian knights were soon overpowered, forcing all within the castle to surrender. Queen Sindel and young Katana were left without proper protection. Except for the king. Quickly, I will see you to safety. Who had one final plan. While he did his best to ensure the queen and infant daughter escape unharmed, his efforts were not enough. is an imposter. Your king has already escaped. Left with no choice but to retreat, the real king was never able to return to his family, and the realm of Adenia was changed forever. Once he was in complete control, Shah Khan took Queen Sindel as his wife and Katana as his daughter. Shah Khan grew to love Sindel, but it was returned only with hate. Fearful Katana would one day feel the same and turn against him, he devised a plan. The princess will learn to despise me once she knows the truth. Make one in her likeness that won't. As you A clone of Katana was created, identical in every way except one.
terrified of Shah Khan corrupting Katana's young soul, Queen Sindel had no choice but to relinquish her own, so it could merge with her daughter's. Shah Khan was left to rule alone, and to raise Katana and Melina the same. Shah Khan exploited the exceptional skills possessed by both young girls, and manipulated maturing emotions to ensure their allegiances remained only to him. As Melina grew older, her struggle to control her Tarkatan blood became more difficult, leaving her consumed with fear and anger. <laughs> Kitana and Melina trained under the watchful eye of Shah Khan, and as they matured, so did their skills in the art of deception. Begin. Yet the years of training together did not keep the two from growing apart. <laughs> Despite Melina's growing resentment towards Kitana, Shah Khan sent the sisters to end what he had begun so many years ago. The two proved themselves a deadly force and began eliminating all who threatened Shah Khan's rule. But more importantly, destroying all who could expose his lie. One by one, King Jared's imposters were hunted down. But with each assignment, Kitana was left with questions she could not answer. Daughters, there is one final task I would see completed. Should you fail, there will be grave consequences. Stand up and face me. You found me. It has been so long. Katana. How do you know my name? 
You look very much like the queen. Your mother. My mother's dead. And what is it you remember about your father? Shao Kahn is my father. No, my princess. That is a lie. You are... <gasps> Shocked that her entire life may be a lie, Kitana sought to find the truth and return to the only place where the past could yet reveal itself. The threat of King Jared's return was erased. Shah Khan turned his attention towards conquering a new realm, unaware that his own hand had spawned uncertainty in his most trusted guardian. My daughters, as a result of your loyalty, Edenia stands unencumbered, and with your help, will remain so for all time. Now rise. And let us discuss the merger of Earthrealm and what the future holds for us all. Yes, yes Father. today, Lord Rain. Okay? Where are you from? Damn it, Blue. How the hell did you get out here? Wait, who the fuck is that? I found him. He's mine. Blue, inside now. No! Get the fuck off me! You want me to have to do this again, do you? Huh? Huh? Shit! Hey! Where are you going? <laughs> Three, two. He's 
disturbing our patients. Administering excessive levels of ketamine appears to be the only form of effective sedation. Today is the 1st of April, 2011, and this is session 12 with John Doe. Age unknown, no known relatives. Patient appeared at Meadowbrook facility on the 3rd of January, 2011, suffering from severe delusions of grandeur. After three months of therapy, patient maintains he is Lord Raiden, the god of thunder and protector of earth. He displays unusual strength and bursts of hostility, requiring that he be constantly restrained. As his mental well-being is our primary objective and progress in his rehabilitation has not been made, we believe he will benefit from more archaic methods of therapy. Let me out of this place. You know we're unable to do that. You don't understand. If you don't let me go, let me... Yes, you've explained this to me before. The Earth will be overtaken by Shao Kahn. Yes. And if you don't let me attend the Mortal Kombat tournament, I promise you, all of you will die. I'm here to help you. Trust in me that I can do that. No. Let me go! Today we're trying something new, Lord Raiden. Something that should free you from your delusions. Raiden. Raiden, are you okay? Time is running out. We have to move now. Please, stop asking me that, okay? I told you to stop. Look, look, I'm doing so much better, look. There's only five today, see? And they said that was, that was progress. They're never gonna let you out of here, you know that. Maybe one day they will. Well. You're the only one who can help me. Please. <laughs> That'll be solid. And this guy is back, okay? Release me.
This should alleviate those outbursts. You don't have to do this.白井龍の話をしよう。白井も我らと同じ誇り高い一族だった。その偉大な通りを伝説の国内の達人。そうだ。よくやった。十兵。だが気持ちが顔に出ているぞ。戦いでは気持ちを抑えねばならぬ。だいぶ台が上がったな。もう父親の武器で訓練も始めてもいいですか。うん。お前はまだ若すぎる。でも私は父親みたいになりたいんです。そして、いつか白井の師匠になりたいんです。お前の父としてそうできればいいと思う。しかし。でもそれが私の夢なのです。それでは教えてやろう。お前のやる気を見せろ。もし将来も今の気持ちを持っているなら、一問に入れるよう力を尽くそう。
いただきます。将軍をお迎えする準備はもうできましたかほとんどできた熊本城は食べ物や花の準備で大変忙しい準備あなたは将軍にお聞かせするタオもう準備しやぬですか母上もはや歌う時間などありません侍は歌など歌えませんそうなのですかジュベ、将軍をもてなすのは我が地域の偉大な名誉だ。将軍がいる間、はい、さあ、今、お前の母と父に歌を歌って喜ばせてくれ。お前もすぐにわかるだろうが、稽古が身を結ぶのだ。はい、父上。てるてる坊主、てる坊主。明日天気にしてくれ。ある日。十兵衛は。自分が知らゆ一門に。加われないことが。わかるでしょう。あらわいいな。天気にしてくれいつかのそしてその日ジュベはまた父がどんなにジュベを愛しく持っているかが分かるでしょう写真どうのうん。ルクサムに変わってここへやってまいった。ルクサムはすでにお月になっておるので、すぐに熊本城まで行くことをお前に命ずる。少々、時間をいただきたい。
Schon so. Shogun of Korastana? It's your daughter. What has he done? Oh, my nice day. You are sure I do which you want to win your way. お前の内間はお前と山中か今知られる内物伝説はお前と共に死ぬのだお前と家族は来世で口を出てしまえ Sent away after the attack. Yes. So, Kokunikite, Surubekis go to Sukasunis Mao. You are certain he can be turned so easily. He witnessed the death of his wife and child. His honor demands blood for blood, and his thirst for revenge will cloud. Any rising suspicion. I come offering redemption. Fight for the Nether Realm, the Mortal Combat Tournament, and in return, I will help you find Sub Zero, avenge your brothers, and assure you find peace. What he did to our family. Will you do that for me? General Masashi.
Go to our death sector. You welcome it? I do what is asked of me. You vowed to do the same, Cyrax. The sooner you understand this, the easier it will be. Our fallen brothers did not agree with this. Because they were weak. The Grand Master knows what is best for us. We must embrace this technology, and with it, we will be stronger. This is the future of the Lin Kuei. No, this is the end. Welcome to the Cyber Initiative. Over the next few hours, you will encounter a series of tests that will challenge your capabilities. We wish you luck. On your command, Grandmaster. a little bastard, ain't he? Begin phase one. Twenty Delta, take one. Alien mark. Unit LK four D four and unit LK nine T nine. Project Cyrex and Project Sector. Significant advancements have been made since our last assessment. Specifically with respect to our casing. Thus far, we have enhanced speed by implementing a lighter alloy, and we have separated the titanium plates with a heat-sensitive plastic. We are now prepared to move on to the next phase of testing, weaponization and emotional recalibration. maintain the subject's memories while severing all emotional connections, thus creating responses that are cerebral as opposed to visceral.
Project Sector and Project Cyrax far exceed any models to date. Our software upgrades uh, eradicated all glitches from previous versions. Your goal to completely control the Lin Kuei is now a reality. And if I may, I, I would recommend commencing phase one on the remainder of the clan. I wish to see these improvements in a practical setting, Doctor. Against a more worthy opponent. Very well. Project Hydro on. Uh, I'll put my money on the red one. Awaiting phase two commencement. Begin. Phase two sequence initiated. Doctor? Project Hydro failing. Warning. Project Hydro disengaged. Warning. Project Hydro fatality. Excellent.
that, so. You know who I am, motherfucker? But if you let my friend go, I promise not to injure you any further. <laughs> Whatever, bitch. <laughs> So with that stupid hat, we'll be up your ass. Maybe later. I was hoping you had returned to see me. The tournament starts tomorrow. So I heard. Congratulations. When you found out I was in town, you wanted to what? Tell me how much you love me. To beg for my forgiveness before going off to die. I want us to make peace. After ten years. Crazy what your conscience comes up with when you realize you may be about to lose your life. That's what it takes to apologize to me, huh? I apologize for nothing. I do not beg for forgiveness. It was your decision to leave the temple. It was your choice to pursue a life with a woman. And it was your decision to abandon me when I needed you most. After risking my life for all these ungrateful animals, what did I get? You chose another path for your life. If you only knew how fucked up it's been. I was disappointed, but I respected your decision. Just as you should respect ours. I only want us to understand one another. It may be the last time we have that chance. I don't need to understand you. I 
You'll never understand me. So fuck off. Copy? Yeah. Did you tell him to shut up? You know you love him. Relax, don't do it. When you wanna go to it, relax, don't do it. When you wanna come, relax, don't do it. My dad is ready to kill you. You think this is the wrong time to have that talk with him? Tonight. Now put it away before you lose it. Open your eyes, you fucking motherfucker! Oh, right, here we go. Calm down, calm, calm down, calm down. Here you go. Okay, take it. That's all yours. Get the fuck back, motherfucker! Yeah.
actor. What the hell are you doing here? Stun gun? Seriously? Are we fighting these Kung Fu extras? No. Everyone here is an ally. Welcome to the tournament. Sounds like death. What is this place? The ruins of a long, dead civilization. A reminder of what Earth will resemble if we do not win. <clears throat> How do we win, exactly? By surviving. How the fuck did you do that? I'm the god of thunder. It's my ability to harness lightning. Believe it or not, each one of you has a supernatural ability. You may never notice it as you go about your everyday lives, but it's part of what makes you special. Come on. You mean like superheroes or something? Normally your powers are muted. Here in this place, your powers are freely expressed. Your exceptional speed is beyond normal. Here, it'll be even more powerful. Even one's heightened senses become superhuman. Your ability to use elements to your advantage, you've always known that was special. I'm still calling bullshit. What the fuck? It's not bullshit. And there's no time to debate. When do we begin? Now. What kind of person strikes an old man? The kind that would kick him as well. Help me, please. It's not very honorable. Fuck you and your honor, Ronin. Pay the toll, and we'll let you live. There's your toll.
much do I owe you? <laughs> Please. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. It is you that I owe. What an old mystic like myself lacks in strength, he more than makes up for with knowledge. I have knowledge of a particular weapon that could benefit a man like you. Have you ever heard of the Sword of Sento? A blade that can harness the power of the sun, steel and flame that can cut down any enemy. Created by the devil, Shao Kahn, but encased in stone in the depths of a mountain. Shao Kahn ordered the demon Ermac to lay in wait for all who try to claim the blade. As soon as a man touches the hilt, Ermac challenges him. If he wins, the sword is his. But if he loses, Ermac claims his soul. Ermac has never lost. He's absorbed the souls of thousands of the best swordsmen to ever walk the earth. Like a sponge, they've all become part of him. The only way to defeat Ermac is to stab him in his heart of stone. This sounds like all the fairy tales my grandfather used to put me to sleep with. This is no fairy tale, Kenji. How did you know my name? <laughs> The same way that I know the sword of Sento is real. It is no myth. Where did you say the Sento blade is? <laughs> now that will cost you.
victory will be lead to sword. We have been waiting for a worthy opponent. Are you worthy? No one has ever left this place alive.
In the realm of Edenia, there lived a young princess named Kitana. From the day she was born, her mother, Queen Sindel, loved her with all her heart, as they lived their lives in peace. Until one day, when their home was invaded by the warriors of Outworld, under the orders of Shao Kahn. Under the impression that Shao Kahn was her father, Katana trained in the art of combat with her twin sister, Melina. Her past remained a secret. Until... Stand up and face me. Hiromi. It has been so long. Katana. How do you know my name? You look very much like the queen, your mother. My mother's dead. And what is it you remember about your father? Shao Kahn is my father. No, my princess. That is a lie. You are my daughter. Sister, we're to leave shortly. You're not prepared. What is it? It's nothing. Mother's blood. How typical of you. I think the gods I escaped that curse. Don't speak about her that way. She was weak, Katana. You know nothing about her. Neither do you. doesn't seem to bother you. She took the coward's way out. That's all I need to know. I'm sure she had a very good reason. <sighs> I will never understand you. Our father has just given us the greatest honor to fight for our king and our empire, which we will one day inherit. A true warrior would be proud. A true warrior does not murder indiscriminately. Sometimes I wonder if you have even an ounce of Tarkatan blood in you. I've been wondering the same. Seems I've escaped that curse as well. Get ready to travel. been quiet all day. Speak your fucking mind. Don't you think we should...
that. seen all your films. Double Panther, Timeshare. Can I have your autograph? Would you let me go? Oh, man. I was just kidding. Nice try. Cage. They're gonna fucking have me committed. Game over. Looks like a party. How much electroshock am I gonna need to get you people out? Trust me, you're not a candidate. Real or not, like I told the last figment of my imagination, I'm not interested. So you people can go fuck with someone else's head. Please. I'm sorry, Johnny. I'm very real. So is Shang Tsung. And I'm glad you refused to join him. So, who are you supposed to be anyway? I'm Raiden, God of Thunder. <laughs> and you're not crazy. <laughs> but it's extremely important that you listen to what I'm about to tell you. The fate of the world could depend upon it. <laughs> and after I said my piece, should you choose not to follow me, I promise to leave you. Hallucination free. Then, by all means, your lordship. fight anymore. I'm done. No more killing in Shao Kahn's name. He's our father. We do as he commands. He is not my father. And you are not my sister. We'll discuss this in a moment. Fuck you! <laughs> Big mistake. My mistake was not acting sooner. <laughs> Goodbye, sister. <laughs>
This was inevitable. It's for my sunglasses, bitch! knock your head off. You can't tell me to do. What are you going to do about it, midget? Just go home, Kai. Listen to your brother. Fine. I won't tell you that. Ah! Ah! Oh. Father. Get over here. times have I told you, Clan Lin Kuei does not associate with Shirairiu dogs. Seventeen? Are you being clever? No. And why do you continue playing with that boy? Because he's my friend. He's not your friend. But why? His clan aren't to be trusted. But why? It's the way it's been since before your grandfather was a boy. But I don't understand. Because that is the way it is. When I was young, I asked the same question. When you're my age, you'll see the world differently. Close, Jube. Leave my child be. I caused no harm to Jupe. We were just playing, right? What are you doing on our land? This road is neutral. 
As decreed by our lord, the Shogun. It is for use by Lin Kuei and Shirai Ryu alike. <laughs> the Shirai Ryu dog has given me orders. Your own brother's orders, Kuai. Bai Han will not be happy to hear of this transgression. Let us pass, and I may forget to mention it. Come here, you okay? Don't ever run away like that. You're not a little boy anymore, Hanzo. Do not force my hand, Kawhi. I'm tired of you telling me what to do. You're gonna regret underestimating me all these years. We will see. Don't move. Just close your eyes. Many years since we played here as children. But it looks the same. Maybe even the same crows. I regret we followed in the footsteps of our fathers. I offer my condolences, Bayan. His friends tell me you were the aggressor. With my wife and child as my co-conspirators. I loved my brother. But he always felt that he was in my shadow. Felt he needed to make a name for himself. I apologize for his actions. You're an honorable man, Hanzo Masashi. Those other two will be dealt with. My clan will continue to honor the Shogun's edict that our clan cease violence. As will mine. I believe this ancient feud of ours is senseless. As do I, my old friend. We both serve the same lord. I've been chosen to fight for Earthrealm. But we face far greater mortal threats looming on our shores. May this blood be the last blood spilled between us. I promise you, there will be no repercussions against your clan. And none for mine. General, my apologies for waking you. There's been an incident. Did I not specifically decree that there would be no retaliation for the death of my brother? That not a blade of grass or a fly on the lands of Shiaria would be touched. Hanzo and I had a truce. This was to be a new era, an end to the senseless violence why do I wake from my bed to find that you, who I entrusted my men to, Hanzo, his whole family, his entire clan, 
slaughtered. He who I had promised to end this violence. S sir. Speak, General! Yes, sir, I, I do not have an answer for that. General, I swear we did not do this! You lie! General, he speaks the truth, old man. This is not your concern. I have no need of mystics now. On the contrary, sir. There is more going on here than meets the eye. And it is most definitely mystical in nature. It's a great privilege for our province to host the Shogun. He has arrived early and requires your immediate presence at Kumamoto Castle. I can, without doubt, assure you, General, the universe has been attempting to communicate with me. Get to the point, Onmyoji. Of course, General. Some weeks ago, I was doing my routine computations. As always, advising your trusted counselors as to auspicious days to avoid conducting clan functions when I came across a curious message from the Oni. A message? More like a warning. What does this have to do with Hanzo, old man? Hmm. Have you ever heard of Shang Tsung? Hmm. I understand you are a practical man. You of this generation who only wish to believe what they can see. The only wishes to show you something that you must see with your own eyes.
Alfonso is dead by your hand. Do you forget your treachery so soon? Hanzo? Hanzo is no longer. I am Scorpion. Vengeance will be mine! You know, I hate that I came all this way just to find out that you fucked up our deal in Kiev. I'm waiting for an apology to call you cough. Something. All right, okay. That's the way you want to play it. You should really eat more healthy. Who the fuck are you? I'm offended, my friend. Shang Tsung. At your service. Somehow I remembered you as more intimidating. I'd say the same about this new incarnation of yours. Well, we do as we must do. Can I get you anything? 
Uh, no, thank you. I won't be staying home. You left quite an impression last time, though. As I recall, I removed your head. <laughs> yes, you did. Your unique talent, Liu Kang. Get to the point. Oh, well, I was challenging the Earth's realm in two weeks' time. I want you to join us. We've got nothing to discuss. Unless you've changed sides in the last 10 years. <laughs> no, I haven't. But you have. I was very saddened to hear the passing of your fiance. Shut the fuck up. Do not mention her. I was merely being polite. Let's face it, you're a killer for hire. I do what I do to get by. As do I. Nine people that I wish eliminated. We pay well. It's not about the money. I fight for Earthrealm. I'm not interested. Excellent, you gang. I know there was something special about you. Yes, it's not about the money. There's something more than money in it for you. Revenge. Kung Lao and White Lotus claim to protect Earth realm. Yet the reality is that they coddle those who would destroy Earth realm from within. Criminals, rapists, murderers, those who have no respect for those who protect them. The place has become complicated laws and regulations that do not reflect the way that life should be lived. You fought for them. You risked your life for them. And how do they repay you? murdered the one you love. And when you sought righteous vengeance, Gung Lao and White Lotus banished you. Now believe it or not, I was not always a demigod. I was a human like you once. I had lost loved ones as well. There's no way that Gong Lao can empathize with us. There's no way that he can feel what we feel. He must pay. You know this place must be cleansed. It is inevitable. Raiden will lose this time. There's a flood coming, Ken. I'm offering you a place on the Ark.
वापस करूंगा My apologies, Master. Please leave us. Molly is dead. I heard, though. I'm truly sorry. You're sorry. I should have come to see you. But I didn't know if it would have done more harm than good. What have you done, Liu Kang? Karma. I brought karma to the men that killed her. Karma is not for you to deliver. You are not a god. I murdered her. And you murdered them? I cleansed the world of filth. I did nothing different than I would have in a tournament. You once were protector of the Earth Realm. Its inhabitants, its freedoms, its ideals. I protected filth that didn't deserve to live. Do you think you're the first person to lose someone they loved? A stronger person does not answer violence with violence. It creates a never-ending cycle that has caused nothing but misery for the rest of the world. You should not have murdered them. Why? Silla. Harmony. Order. Self-restraint. Non-violence. Silla is the path to illumination and liberation. This is what makes us different than those that desire to destroy our realm. Anybody who does not follow these ideals is no different than those of Outworld. When you were White Lotus, you vowed to follow these guidelines. I am no longer White Lotus, remember? Why are you here, Liu Kang? You're obviously not here for forgiveness. Forgiveness from you. Maybe I was hoping for some understanding. Some humanity. You chose your path when you left the Order to live the life of a normal man. With joy comes pain. And now you must follow it to its conclusion. You are on your own. Leave and never come back. Surrender. 
So what happened? That, that blind kid was kicking the crap out of that demonic motherfucker, and ah, then I saw them, twins. They chased me down. One had these crazy teeth. Teeth? And more like fangs. She wasn't human. What about the other one? Her, her teeth looked totally normal. She refused to fight me, and her and Fangs got into it. Fangs lost. So the other one let you go? I was out of there before I could give her the choice. So they're turning on each other. And it sounds like the numbers might be on our side. We might be able to win this thing. Yeah, sure. Totally. Awesome. I think if we get you down to the beach, set you up by the fire and recover a bit. And maybe Raiden will be there. He can call timeout or something. I'm kidding. Relax. Nice utility vest, Batman. What is that, Kevlar? You brought artillery to a knife fight. Not sure how much good it'll do you. Well, we've all got our talents. Even D-list actors. that actor, right? Still am. I always thought you had a stunt double. Nope. All me. Obviously. Must have skills to be invited here. You bet your ass. So modest. You bit off more than you could chew. You should have stuck to the movies. What of if I could have? This was my last shot. At least, to be useful. Would you rather have a quick death in the dirt or a chance on your feet? Show me what you got. You're good. I make this look easy. You do make this look easy. I don't want to make fun of my fucking vest. Why didn't you tell me in Macau? Why would I? We were once like brothers. Another life a long time ago. I always thought you would find your way back. I thought you had the strength. There is still good in you. There's no coming back from this. Why follow Shang Tsung down this path? You know where it leads. In the last 10 years, I've done things you wouldn't believe. But each time, the righteousness of my path was confirmed. They're unworthy and ungrateful. 
You're naive to think humanity is worth protecting. Humanity will never be perfect. But their ideals are worth defending. Were you aspiring to those ideals when you turned your back on me? I am not going to fight you, Lou. Then you will die.